good evening sir myself renita mercy rodriguez from msc fourth semester the topic which i'm going to present is the disease significance and importance of bacteria in medical microbiology bacteria are single celled uh, microorganism that lack a nuclear membrane they are metabolically active and divide by binary fission the human body is full of bacteria and in fact is estimated to contain more bacterial cells than human cells most bacteria in the body are harmless and some are even helpful a relatively small number of species cause diseases there are bacteria that are bad and that we can we call pathogenic and they will cause diseases the first thing which i want to tell is about diseases which are caused by bacteria bacterial infections are diseases that affect your skin lungs brain blood and other body parts we get them from single celled organisms multiplying or releasing toxins in our body bacteria staphylococci they are gram positive cocci that are arranged in grape like clusters nearly 40% of healthy people carry staphylococcus aureus in nose skin without any symptom infections produced by this is acute or aggressive locally destructive purulent lesions the most familiar of these is common boil a pla- painful lump in the skin infection in organs other than skin such as lungs kidneys or bones also occur such infection produce high fever sy- systemic toxicity and may be fatal sometimes second bacteria is streptococci this is a gram positive cocci which are usually arranged in chains with oval cells touching end to end they divide in one plane and tend to remain attached three species are most important pathogens of human streptococcus phynogenes cause of strep uh, strep throat uh, which leads to uh, rheumatic fever and heart diseases streptococcus algactiae frequent cause of sepsis in newborns and streptococcus pneumonia which leads to pneumonia and meningitis third bacteria is neisseria they are the gram negative cocci that appear in pair with opposite sides flattened imparting a kidney bean appearance they are non motile and non spore forming and non acid fast neisseria gonorrhea causes sexually transmitted disease is most common in individuals between 15 and 35 years of age and spreads by sexual contact gonorrhea are localized to mucosal surfaces and does not spread to the blood stream or deep tissues fourth bacteria is mycobacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis tuberculosis is spread from person to person by the airborne route in childhood the lungs is the first site of infection leading to local scars infection spread throughout the body the diseases may occur if the immunity decreases or as the person ages mycobacterium leprae which attacks peripheral nerves causing anesthesia digital destructions and deforming deformity follows leaving the patient disabled mycobacterium marinium causes chronic granulos uh, granulomatous infection in skin and is acquired from rivers poorly maintained swimming pools or fish tanks next one is clostridia the bacteria clostridia they are large spore forming gram positive bacilli having spores that are resistant to heat to heat then uh, and uh, disinfectants clostridium uh, perin fringes produce wide range of wound and soft tissue infection the most dreaded of these gas gangrene begins as a wound infection but progresses to shock and death in matter of hours gas gangrene develops wounds with muscle damage when contaminated with dirt clothing or other foreign particles clostridial food poisoning which causes disease food poisoning which is characterized by diarrhea without fever and vomiting clostridium tetani which causes tetanus significance and importance of bacteria in microbi- medical microbiology uses of bacteria in medical microbiology 
Bacteria are used to produce medicines and treat bacterial diseases. They are exploited in manufacture of various industrial products such as production of antibiotics, probiotics, drugs, vaccines, etc. Thyrosin was the first bacterial antibiotic obtained from bacteria. Antibiotics, they are major of naturally occurring antibiotics. Bacteria that reside in soil produce the majority of antibiotics. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin when the colony of Penicillium notatum accidentally contaminated the bacterial colony and killed all bacteria. Waxman discovered streptomycin and began new era of medicine. Streptococcus is most commonly used bacterial genus for production of antibiotics which help to fight against bacterial infection in humans. The actinomycetes which are filamentous bacteria like organism produce more powerful antibiotics such as streptomycin and teramycin. Vaccines Bacterial vaccines include microorganisms that have been killed or amputated to stimulate the immune system. Antibiotic antibodies are produced in response to that specific bacterium and help to avoid bacterial infection in future. Some types are toxoids, subunit vaccines, live vaccines and recombinant vaccines. Streptomycin, terasilines, erythromycin etc. are some major antibiotics which are obtained from bacteria. Thank you.